today we're talking about what is the best sword for self-defense. Not about what is best for self-defense, like a firearm or martial art training if you have none, or a knife. What is the best sword? And you think, of course, he's going to say the katana. It's fast, it's quick, it's heavy. Um, no, it's not the katana. This is bulky, of course it can't be concealed, and it has disadvantages as well as advantages. So believe it or not, I do not think the Japanese katana would be best in a self-defense situation for swords. Let me show you the one I do believe is best. I collect swords, I have hundreds of them, and this is one of the best I have ever seen. I don't get paid by this company, but let me tell you about this Combat Gladiator Commander. This is a fantastic sword for self-defense purposes. Why? Well, there are several things you have to ask yourself. Is it good in close combat? In other words, can it be used one-handed or two-handed? This is a one-handed sword. It's extremely light. It has great steel. The ability to block and grab is really helpful in self-defense, whereas a two-handed sword is often unyieldy, especially in indoor combat. How long is the sword? The katana, I believe, is much too long, although a reach is good. But this is fantastic at reaching out and backing up. What is the weight of the sword? The katana can be very top-heavy. If you cut and miss, you're open for attack, especially if they have a knife. Is the sword maneuverable? This one is unbelievably maneuverable for stabbing, slashing, moving. It is very, very, very fast. Is it concealable? No, but swords aren't supposed to be, unless you have it in the sheath, in a big coat, or stuffed down your leg or something then it might be concealable, but these are not meant to be. Does it have a single edge or a double? This is a double-edged sword. Let me give you a close-up. It is sharp from here all the way to the tip. It has a handle that is made of rubber. It's all one piece, so I'm not worried about the handle breaking off. It's riveted in there. So this Combat Commander is made by United Cutlery and I'm gonna read you a couple things about it right from their website. The piercing and chopping design of this Roman Gladius is modernized and brought to full tactical function with the Combat Commander Gladiator. The sword has a sharpened blade of 1060 high carbon steel that has been black coated for stealth. It has a slip resistant rubberized grip with two integrated holes that allow for the addition of lanyards which are not included. The sword comes with a nylon and leather tactical sheath. The length of this sword is 23 and 7 eighths inches. It has a blade length of just over 16 inches. It weighs one pound five ounces. It's unbelievably dexterous and light. The edges are very sharp. The pommel is integrated. Point of balance is two and a half inches out which is really good. The grip length is four and a half inches. The blade is 1060, 1065, high carbon steel. You're not gonna have to worry about it breaking. It holds its edge. It is a gladius sword as far as its type, and it is known as battle ready. Battle ready is just a fancy term, meaning it's not for display. You can actually use this right out of the box to defend yourself or your family. It comes with this sheath, which you can hook on your belt for camping or hunting and it's made by United Cutlery. Another thing I love about this is this is a budget sword. There are a lot of different designs that United Cutlery makes, and this, this famous Gladius style, is really, really good for self-defense. So I'll take this over a katana any day. Imagine one of these in each hand, what you could do to defend yourself. And guess what? The price point is cheap. These are like $40, $50 at the most. You can go to the website, I'll put the link below, and you can pick one of these up for next to nothing. Keep one of these in your house, your bedroom, wherever you live, and you could defend yourself quite well in the dark. Hard to see, really small. Basically, I'm saying that Sting from Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, this shape is one of the best swords I've ever seen as far as self-defense. Of course, firearm is more superior. If you don't have anything, a knife, or someone who's trained in the martial arts will almost always win from someone who doesn't. Watch who you hang out with, be aware of your surroundings. All those things are great for self-defense, but if you want a sword that's quick and nimble, this is a good choice, and the price point is fantastic. So thanks for watching, everybody. This is my top pick, or at least one of the three, for the best sword 
in self-defense. Make sure you click the notification bell below so you get our videos every week. They're free and always will be. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.